Welcome to Curtis Ghost Corner, coming to you from a secret underground base in occupied America. Hi folks, welcome back. Those of you that are new, welcome. Found this on conservativebrief.com. House GOP working on FISA reform to block snooping on Americans' phone records without a warrant. Yeah, exactly right. I call on and many of have. I hope this is just, they're not blowing smoke off our butts. The Patriot Act, frankly, should end. It should be thrown out. I remember in the early 2000s, this is in reference to 9-11, the Patriot Act went in. And it, it sounded really sketchy, really sketchy when they put it out. And I remember at the time, I was a local city council member here in upstate New York, and we talked about it at length. And I kind of leaned towards maybe doing it. But, of course, people suck, and they always do the wrong thing given the opportunity. And I think the FBI, CIA, and the other intelligence services have misused this privilege. We use the classic example, whether you hate Donald Trump or love him, spying on a presidential candidate of your opponent, of your opposition party, is just evil, period. That's what Watergate was all about. They're trying to bug Democratic National Headquarters, if you recall. I call for the revocation of the Patriot Act. Let's read on. There's Jim Jordan. Republicans on the House Committee are pushing for broad changes to the government's FISA surveillance authority. That's the other thing. The people that misused the FISA court and the FISA warrants were never held accountable as far as, I'm con- uh, as far as I know. Nobody was fired. Nobody was criminally charged. They lied to a FISA court to listen in on a presidential campaign. Surveillance authority, which would, among other things, make it illegal for the FBI to search through phone records of Americans without a judge's approval. They can do that now without a warrant. Without a warrant. As several Patriot Act authorities, authorities expire at the end of the year, the effort is expected to be completed by then. Legislators told Justin News that there are unusual bipartisan cooperation between Republicans and Democrats on this issue. Yeah, I hope it is not blowing smoke up our asses. Just revoke the Patriot Act in total in its entirety, period. Now, the negative people that say that we shouldn't do that, it's wrong. It'll make it harder to catch the bad guys, i.e. terrorists, other domestic uh, things that are breaking the law, organized groups, then it becomes harder. It just becomes harder. The U.S. Constitution. I'm, fr- I'm frankly surprised the Supreme Court hasn't made the entire Patriot Law unconstitutional. Maybe they need to grow a set of balls, too. Sometimes I'm on the Supreme Court side, and sometimes I shake my head at the spinelessness of it. Ladies and gentlemen on the Supreme Court, there's a reason why you were appointed for life. And this is one of those reasons. And it looks like some of the Democrats might go along as well. Stated that the focus was on the Section 702 system, which allows agents to search phone communications, metadata, where they can create this database without a warrant. Now, we know that from testimony from Facebook, and we know after Elon Musk bought Twitter that they were checking things that people put online without a warrant, making lists, changing algorithms. We knew all that already, but yet nothing was done. Nobody's in jail. Why is it when Democrats and progressives and intelligence agencies break the law, nobody ever goes to jail? The Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court class declassified a report earlier this year that revealed FBI agents had improperly searched Americans' phone records more than 270,000 times over two years. Alarming civil liberty experts in drawing condemnation from both parties. Where's the ACLU? It's a joke. They're too busy going after mega Republicans. There needs to be more transparency, more accountability. Like I said, the individual that lied to the FISA court to get the warrants to spy on the Trump campaign, and maybe even after he he won, 
and I'm sure they're doing it now, no one has been charged and no one has gone to trial or gone to jail. It's amazing to me. Broad agreement. We're going to have to see what these spineless people do because it gets to the point where now our elected officials are afraid of the intelligence agencies. But then the real question, maybe the more fundamental question is, do we require a warrant before you can query any information regarding American citizens? And I don't mean a, a FISA court, a secret court warrant. I mean a warrant like everybody has been for hundreds of years. A warrant that's out in the open. That's where the Judiciary Committee members are. We're going to work that through the issue. I hope this is not blowing smoke up our asses, like I said. Jordan stated more comprehensive overhaul of the government's enhanced powers on the Federal Intelligence Surveillance Act, which is FISA, which was put in place following September 11, 2021 terrorist attacks, would revolve around this significant alteration to Section 720 surveillance. What you're doing is you're putting a Band-Aid on an artery that's bleeding. You're not really solving the problem. It's the Patriot Act in total. It has to be revoked. And we'll see if even one congressional member, or God, God forbid, one senator says it needs to be revoked. Because it'll make him or her a target of the intelligence agencies. I think it should be significant overall of Section 702, but not the entire FISA. The following two months are our target, and there you are. Not the entire FISA. You know, oh, God, Andy Biggs, who has been facilitating informal discussions between Republicans and Democrats for months to build a bipartisan consensus, complimented Jordan and his colleagues on their cooperative strategy. Yeah, because you know what? You know what? They see now. They see now that when the shoe's going to be on the other foot and the Republicans and or Trump is in charge of the intelligence service, at least on paper, they're going to go after them. So all of a sudden now they want to cooperate. I think we've reached a lot of harmony and a lot of ideas. You know, wah, 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 wah. You know, you know and I like Andy Biggs. And that's where we're going to solve those. I think we're going to smooth it out and hopefully be able to get something done before the end of the year. I believe we will. And start by putting people in jail that misused you know, the Patriot Act. Put the fear of God and all the intelligence services. And listen, you do something unconstitutional. You, you slam somebody's constitutional rights. There will be consequences. And that's what we're going to solve. We're going to smooth it out. Yeah, we'll see. Jordan made headlines last week when he announced that the House Judiciary Committee had been looking into reports of the Justice Department spied on members of Congress and their staff. Yeah, they did. Iowa GP Senator Chuck Grassley is also looking at the allegations that the Department of Justice spied on his former chief investigative counsel, Jason Foster. On Tuesday, Jordan made the investigation public on Fox Business. We know now that they spied a congressional staffers, Jordan said in an appearance on Fox Business. The evening edit with Elizabeth McDonald. We want to know how far does it go? Even if it goes one inch, it's against the law. People should be in jail. Were they spying on members? Were they spying on other staffers? Keep this in mind. We know they spied on President, President Trump's campaign. We all know that. And the people that lie to the FISA court should be charged. Uh, when asked, I believe they had the FBI said, well, I can't go into detail because it's a personnel matter, but there are some things we're looking into for as far as disciplinary. You no, know, they're charged with a crime and put on trial and given the same rights when they go on trial they did not give to the people they spied on. We all know that from the FISA court, they did a Carter Page in Pap Papadopoulos. Everything else. Now we've learned they spied on some of Senator Grassley's staff members, Jason Foster. We want to know, does it go further? Of course it does. So if we sent letters now to the Department of Justice, why, well, yeah, it's a waste of time, but also to these carriers that the Department of Justice work with, they get the phone records and the email records, congressional staffers like Mr. Foster. How far does this go? What were they spying on members and other staff? And that's the thing. Social media websites like this website, 
Facebook, the former Twitter, and many, many others, and all the phone, cell phone carriers just gave out information without a warrant. They should be held accountable as well. Every one of those phone carriers should be charged with unconstitutional things they've done to their so-called customers that's unconstitutional, took away people's rights, and fined astronomical amounts. And let's use those huge fines to put towards the, uh, the border or go after the deficit or do something constructive with it. Joe wrote to Apple, Alphabet, AT&T, and T-Mobile, and Verizon CEOs, as well as Attorney General Merrick Garland. Yeah, that'll, yeah, that'll go. Merrick Garland, that'll really go far. Requesting information about the DOJ's alleged attempts to obtain the private communications of members of Congress and their staff as part of the investigation. Now, I like Jim Jordan. I still do. But notice it only pissed them off when they went after Senate staff and congressional staff members. How about the other 200 and something thousand plus of the regular everyday American people? Wasn't that enough to piss you off, Jim Jordan? The Justice Department's efforts to obtain private communications congressional staffers, including staffers conducting oversight of the department, are wholly unacceptable and offend fundamental separation of powers principles as well as the Congress's constitutional authority to conduct oversight of the department. A letter sent to Apple CEO Tim Cook. Oh, I'm sure Tim Cook's real worried. It's amazing to me. Start fighting these guys. Hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars. Make it the biggest fine in U.S. history. And do it every single time for each individual's constitutional rights were taken away or just trampled over. And they will stop. They're afraid that if they don't cooperate with intelligence agencies, that they're going to be on the hook. And they're going to start investigating them. And they're going to start spying on them with FISA warrants and no warrants at all. This is insane. When corporations and business and the American people are afraid of their own government law enforcement agencies, we got a problem, folks. Oh, God. The letter continues by elaborating on the claim the DOJ issued subpoenas congressional staffers looking into the DOJ's crossfire hurricane operation. Remember that one? Under Obama, on behalf of the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence in order to obtain emails and records. That's the one where they uh, sold all the weapons. They wanted to see where they ended up in the cartels. Remember that fiasco, that cluster These revelations strongly suggest that the Justice Department weaponized this law enforcement authority to spy on entities seeking to hold it accountable. Strongly suggest? Strongly suggest. As chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, Jordan has made it his top priority. We're going to have to see it. I say I still like Jim Jordan. It's been his top priority looking at allegations of weaponizing the DOJ, and they have to say allegations, of course. Because it, because the intelligence services might even go after the people that are that are making the accusations. The House Judiciary Committee is also investigating allegations of politicalization of the Hunter Biden investigation. No, really, by having federal prosecutors appear, appear for transcribed interviews behind closed doors. Absolute total bull, out in the open. I don't want to hear we have undercover and we'll be giving out sources and and blah, 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 and all the reasons why we can't. I want to know why the FISA judges that were lied to and manipulated by the FBI and other agencies aren't madder than hell. And they rotate the FISA judges is my understanding. Why aren't they madder than hell? Why? Why? It's amazing to me. It truly, truly is. And what are your thoughts on the matter? Just revoke the entire Patriot Act or fix the parts that they think are bad? I call for his total, total elimination, period. It'll get rid of tons of agencies as well and bureaucrats. It'll save hundreds, if not billions of dollars just in bureaucrats alone. 
Put that money towards the border. Or put that money towards our deficit. One of the two. It's better used than what it is here. And those that say, well, John, it'll be a lot harder to catch the bad guys. If you have to change a law to make it easier to catch the really bad guys at the expense of the American people's constitutional rights, it's not a trade I'm willing to make. The price is too high. Until the next time, God bless, goodbye, and good luck.